Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into one of the coolest new feature in Cisha 14 extension members including properties, indexer and static members. If you have ever used extension methods, you are going to love how much more powerful they have become. And don't worry, I'll explain it all in simple terms with easy examples. So whether you are a beginner or experienced developer, you are in the right place. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Ok without any further delay, let's get started. What are extension members in Cisha 14? Before Cisha 14, we had extension methods which let you add methods to existing types without modifying them. Super useful, right? Now in Cisha 14, Microsoft has taken that a step further. We can now add extension properties, extension indexer and even static extension members. That means we can treat our extension like built-in feature of a type both on instances and on the type itself. That's what I have written over here. Cisha 14 extension members let you add properties, indexes and static members to existing types as if they were built-in all without modifying the original code. Okay, so let's understand with the analogy. Let's say you have a TV remote like iNumerable T. It comes with basic buttons, power, volume, channel, etc. But now imagine you could magically add new buttons to your remote without changing the remote itself. So CISA 14 lets you stick on new buttons like properties, index or aesthetic features to existing remote, which is nothing but types over here, even though the original remote did not have them. Okay, so now let's see what extension property, extension indexer and static extension members are. As I said earlier, we could have our extension both on instances and on the type itself. And that's what I have written extension property at the instance level, extension index instance level and static extension members at the type level. Right? Okay, let's see one by one all these things. So here extension property instance level. It's like adding a new light to the remote that shows if the TV is on mute. Okay, let's understand with the help of examples on over here. Here I have written public aesthetic class my extension. So here I am defining a static class named my extension. Inside that I have written this statement extension t i t source. So this is a new feature in Cisha 14. Right? With this statement what I am saying, I am saying I want to extend any collection that implements enumerable T like list, arrays, etc. and give each one an extra feature. And here if you notice T, T indicates that it works with any type like int, string, etc. And source, I mentioned enumerable T source. So here source is the name we will be using inside this block to refer to the collection being extended. So inside this I have written public bool is empty goes to not source dot any, right? So here we are adding a new property called is empty to the collection and here source dot any right it basically checks if the collection has any items and if you notice I have put the exclamation mark before that so it means not any so it's true when the collection is empty so is empty will be true if the collection is empty it will be false if it has at least one item. So in simple terms, we are teaching our list how to answer the question. Are you empty? Right? And it will give the answer true or false. Now let's see its uses. I wrote where items is equal to new list int. So basically with this statement, what I'm doing, I'm creating an empty list of integers. It has no numbers inside, right? And then I'm going to use the new property that I have defined earlier, right? Is empty in this extension, like it was in built in, right? That's what I have written items dot is empty. So this statement is going to call the extension property that we add earlier over here, right? Okay, so now let's see the extension indexer at the instance level. So it's like adding a new button to jump to a specific channel by the logic that we define. Okay, let's understand with the help of examples on over here. Here again, there is a static class named my extension that has this statement extension t enumerable t source. So this is a new feature of C sharp 14 that will allow enumerable to support indexing. And that's what I have written this statement inside that public t this int index goes to source dot skip index dot first right so here we have added new indexer to the collection normally i normal t doesn't support direct indexing like arrays or list to so this line gives it that ability and here if you notice int index right so here we can now use a square bracket index on this collection and i have written this statement source dot skip index dot first what does it mean it means it skips over the first index items then return the next one that's what this statement is going to do it right 
Okay, let's see its uses. Here we created a list of integers with three numbers in it. That's what I have written where numbers is equal to new list int 10, 20, 30. Right. So in the second statement, I have written int second is equal to numbers one. So here we use our new extension indexer to get the item at the position number one. And you already know that indexing starts at zero. This is the thumb rule, right? So this numbers one is going to return value as a 20. That's what I have written returns 20. That is going to get stored into the variable name second of the in data type, right? So you have seen, right? We are getting the value as a 20 when we are going to use this extension indexer over here. Right? So even though I normal T normally doesn't allow you to do something like this, but our extension indexer gave it that power to it, right? And that's why we are able to write it something like this. So that's how this extension indexer works in Cisha 4 at the instance level. Okay, now let's see the static extension members at the type level. So it's like having features for the remote type itself not just individual remote. Think of a default setup mode that applies to all remotes of this kind. Okay, so let's understand with the help of examples shown over here. So here there is again a static class named my extension and inside that I have written this statement extension t i numerable t and if you notice I haven't mentioned source over here. So with this statement I am saying let me add some static members to the type i enumerable t itself not to individual list but to the type as a whole. So this is one of the important difference that we need to understand. In previous examples, we have added things to each individual list like items dot is empty. But this one adds things to the type itself like I enumerable int dot something, right? So inside that I have written this statement public aesthetic I enumerable t identity goes to I enumerable dot empty t right so here we have added a static property called identity so it returns a new empty sequence of type t and that we are storing into the identity variable of static i numerable type t okay in the next statement i have added a Aesthetic method called combine over here that's what i have written public aesthetic i numerable t combine that takes two list I honorable T A, I honorable T B and joins them together using the concat and that's what I have written A dot concat B. So let's say you have two list 1, 2 and second list 3, 4 and when we are going to use this combine what it will give it will return as a 1, 2, 3, 4 and that's how we are going to see it. Okay, now let's see its uses. Here I have written where empty is equal to I honorable int identity. So this property is going to return the empty list that we are storing into the empty variable and then what I am trying to do I am just going to use combined variable that will be storing the data that we are combining over here. So let's say list 1, list 2 is there, list 1 is having some value, list 2 is having some value. So basically I am using over here a static extension method which is nothing but the combine over here that will combine these two lists and give us the output that we are storing into the combined variable over here. Okay, so now you have seen extension property, extension indexer and a static extension members of Cisha 14 extension members, right? But you must be thinking why this matter? So this feature brings cleaner code, better APIs and a more object oriented feel to our extension. So now we no longer need to just work with the aesthetic method. Our extension can now behave like they were always part of the original type because we have now capability to add the property, indexer, even the aesthetic extension members at the type level, right? Okay, so let's switch to the Visual Studio and see all these things in action. Alright, so here we are in Visual Studio. Here we are going to see the demo how we can add new behaviors like properties, indexers and methods to existing types like i numerable t without changing the original type. Think of it like giving a TV remote extra buttons or features via an accessory, not by opening it up and changing its circuits. Okay, to show the demo what I have done, I have created one console application in Visual Studio 2022 in preview tool and console application name is extension members in Csha 14 demo that has program.cs file. In program.cs file, first of all, I have added necessary namespaces like using system, using system.collection, using system.collection.generic, using system.link queue. System for basic stuffs like console.write line. Here, collection.generics I have used for working with list. And here, system.link queue, it is going to help us to use the link queue function like any, escape, or concat. Then there is a static class named my extension. And this class I have defined over here because 
this one can't be instantiated right and it is going to hold our extension members inside this i have written instance level extension members for i numerable t that's what i have written extension t i numerable t source so this is a new c sub 14 features with this statement i am saying for any collection that implements i numerable t where we can add some new behavior to each individual object and here what is the object object is source over here for the i numerable t right inside this i have added extension property extension indexer and extension method as instance level extension members for i numerable t the first one is the extension property and here i have defined is empty over here right that's what i have written public bool is empty goes to not source dot any so i have added property named is empty that returns true if the collection has no item that's the meaning of this statement, right second we have written extension indexer int index right and that's what i have written public t this int index goes to source dot escape index first right so here i have added an indexer that lets us to do something like list of one right even if the original type did not support that but here this is the capability we are getting when we are using this extension member as an extension indexer over here and then i have written the extension method where i have implemented custom filter that's what i have written public i numerable t where not null goes to source dot where x goes to x not equal to null so this is nothing but a regular extension method that we used to leverage it in earlier version of csap as well right so here what it does it filters out null values from a collection that's what this where not null method is going to perform then i have written a static extension members for i numerable t that's what i have written extension t i numerable t and if you notice over here i haven't mentioned source over here right i have just passed the type in the extension t so what does it mean it means this extension members that belong to the type itself not a specific instance so think of this like saying let's add new buttons to the tv model not just to each remote right and inside that i have written the static extension property so that's what i have written public static i numerable t identity goes to innumerable dot empty t right here we have defined a static property that gives us an empty list of any type that's what i have written this i numerable dot empty t and t could be any type like int string anything right and this is going to be applied for type itself and then finally i have written the static extension method and this extension method is responsible for combining two collection that's what i have written public static i numerable t combine and here i am taking the two list over here i numerable t a i numerable t b and then i am concatenating right list one to list two that's what i have written a dot concat b over here so overall this static method takes two collections and combines them using the concat that's what i have written over here right then there is a another class named program that has main method which is an entry point of this application so in this main method first of all i am printing this statement what i'm printing demo of extension member of cisha 14 extension property extension indexes and ecstatic extension member right then i'm going to use the instance level users over here so that's what i have written where items is equal to new list int so this statement creates an empty list of integers right and then what i'm going to do i'm just going to see whether this list is empty or not and for that i am going to use the extension property over here that's what i have written items dot is empty and items dot is empty is going to return as a true value that's what i have written output will be the true so console dot write line is empty and true value is going to get concatenated it is going to get displayed in the console window right then i have written where numbers is equal to new list in 10 comma 20 comma 30 so i have created a list of integers right that's what i have written 10 comma 20 comma 30 and then finally i'm just going to access it right and for that i'm just going to use this extension indexer and here i have written numbers one right so what it does i'm basically asking get this second element which is index one right that's what i've written numbers one so what it will do it will go and visit this list of integers and give the second number so second number is 20 that's what output is going to get displayed as a 20 over here so this statement is going to get printed into console window second item 20 that we will be seeing when we are going to execute this program then i have shown you the extension method uses that we used to do earlier right in the previous c 14 version also so here i have written where words is equal to new list of a string apple null and banana so this list is having apple banana along with the null value right 
So I just want to remove this null and for that purpose I am just going to use this extension method where not null. That's what I have written words dot where not null. So this method is going to remove this null and give us the filtered list item and that we are storing into the filtered variable. Finally I am just printing filtered string dot join comma filter. So output we are going to get it like apple comma banana over here that I am going to concatenate in this console dot right line statement and printing into the console window. So here we have used this extension method right. Next I am going to show the users of a static extension member that's what I have written this statement where empty list is equal to i numerable int dot identity. So here I am just calling the static property identity to get an empty list of integers and then I am just going to print the count and that's what I have written here empty list dot count over here. So it is going to give us a zero because there is a no item into this list right that's how we use the static extension member and then I have created two lists list one and list two. And list one is having the integer value 1 2 list 2 is having the value of 3 4 right then I am going to use the aesthetic method combine and that's what I have written I numerable int dot combine list one list two right and it is going to give the concatenated value and what would be the concatenated value 1 2 3 4 in one particular list and that I am storing into the combined and then printing into the console window and that's what I have written over here output would be 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 okay so now you have seen how the program is structured let me execute this program and show this output to you okay so output got appeared into this console window and first this statement got printed demo of extension members of c sharp 14 extension property extension indexer static extension member right and then this output got appeared is empty true second item 20 filtered apple comma banana empty count 0 combined 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 right so whatever the output got appeared over here it is based on the extension member we have used whether it was at the instance level or at the type level right so in this program we have added new feature to the existing type just like upgrading our tv remote without opening it up right so in this program we have created a property which is nothing but the is empty to check if a list is empty then i have created an indexer that is i to access the items right then i have used the aesthetic method where not null right to clean up the nulls value and that's what here apple and banana got printed and null value that was there at the initial list that got removed it right so i have basically cleaned up the nulls with the help of extension method where not null and then i have used this aesthetic extension property which is nothing but the identity and this identity helped me to get an empty list and that's what when we counted this list number we got the output as a zero right and finally i have used this aesthetic extension method combined and that helped me to join the two list that's what we are seeing this output as a 1 comma 2 comma 3 4 previously two list was there 1 2 and 3 4 we have combined with the help of aesthetic extension method and that's how we got this output okay that brings me to end up my session today to sum up today we learned how shisha 14's new extension members work like properties indexer and static members and we have explained in this simple wide fashion that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video